It's called the TARDIS, this thing. T-A-R-D-I-S. That's time and relative dimension in space. Yes, it's a spaceship. Yes, it's bigger on the inside. You see, we travel around in here through time and space. You mean you're deliberately choosing to go on the run from your own people in a rackety old TARDIS? Why not? After all, that's how it all started. Susan and I are cut off from our own planet without friends or protection. Do you fancy a quick trip round the 12 galaxies and then back to Perivale in time for tea? Planets come and go, stars perish. Matter disperses, coalesces, reforms into other patterns, other worlds. A man is the sum of his memories, you know, a Time Lord even more so. It seems that I'm some kind of a galactic yo-yo. I don't think we should interfere. Interfere? Of course we should interfere. Always do what you're best at. Ha-ha! I've done it! While you have been content merely to observe the evil in the galaxy, I have been fighting against it. Now Davros has created a machine creature, a monster, which will terrorize and destroy millions and millions of lives and lands throughout all eternity. You do not exist! That's my best enemy. He likes to be known as the master, don't you? Now it ends, Doctor! Now it ends! We meet again, Doctor. Everything that ever hated you is coming here tonight. You can't win this. You can't even fight it. I'm not part of the war. I swear to you, I never was. All of time and space, everything that ever happened or ever will. Where do you want to start? How about a little trip in a TARDIS? I'm just off. All those planets, creatures and horizons, I haven't seen them yet. Not with these eyes. Our destiny is in the stars, so let's go and search for them. I never know why. I only know who. Welcome aboard. And then I met a man called the Doctor. And he took me away from home in his magical machine. He showed me the whole of time and space. Have you met Miss Smith? She's my best friend. What happened to the other people who travel with you? Goodbye, Jamie. Some left me. Some got left behind. And some, not many, but some died. Brave heart, Tegan. Doctor, I will miss you. Brigadier Alistair Gordon Lethbridge Stewart. How nice to see you again, Doctor. Splendid fellows, all of you. Amy Pond, Professor Riversong. Right then, Clara Oswald. Time to find out who you are. Regeneration. A complete new life cycle. Time Lords have this little trick. It's sort of a way of cheating death. I will give the process a little push and the cells will regenerate. He will become a new man. It's the end. But the moment has been prepared for. I might regenerate. I don't know. Change, my dear. And it seems on a moment too soon. He's dying, and you know what happens next. Physician, heal thyself. 
But it's a bit dodgy, this process. You never know what you're going to end up with. Any moment now, he's a coming. Who's coming? The Doctor. Our lives are different to anybody else's. That's the exciting thing. Nobody in the universe can do what we're doing. Great men are forged in fire. It is the privilege of lesser men to light the flame. Help him change the future. Do it. Stand by for emergency materialization. But you happen to know how to fly this thing. I'm the doctor. I'm not a human being. I walk in eternity. There are some corners of the universe which have read the most terrible things. They must be fought. When you talk of the Earth, then make sure that you tell them this. It is defended. When you began all those years ago, sailing off to see the universe, did you ever think you'd become this? The man who can turn an army around at the mention of his name. Doctor. The word for healer and wise man throughout the universe. You are the destroyer!